Hi guys, it's TJ. Welcome to day five of the Butts and Guts Challenge. How are you feeling after yesterday's rest day? Um, I am doing better. I definitely needed that rest day. I was super sore when I woke up yesterday morning, so um, I'm glad to have a rest day. Um, so today is day five on that challenge and we are going to continue on. Today you're going to need water, your yoga mat or exercise mat, unless you're on carpet, uh, a chair or a step, and your dumbbells, either your 3, 5, 10, or 15 pound weights, depending upon your fitness level. And so without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to get started with a warm up. So we're going to again stretch the right arm across. Oh, that feels so good today. And the left arm. That feels really, really, really good today. All right, now we are going to do three half jumps. So we're going to jump from here, straight around back, and then straight back front. Okay, make sense? Okay, here we go. Ready? There's one. There's two. Oh my goodness, I'm getting dizzy too. Three. Okay, good job. Go ahead and stretch out your quads. Using your chair if you need to. Get your balance and then let go. See, stabilize your muscles. I don't know if you can see it. My leg is just, my ankle, right there at the ankle is just doing that. So, good to practice. Find your balance and then let go. Let those muscles work. Okay, good job. All right, we're going to do toe taps now, okay? So, either using the wall or a bench or something, in this case, I'm going to use the chair going to basically do a jog and tap every time. Okay, ready? Here we go. through that. I was breathing, you just got in here. Right? Okay, lean your left elbow back behind your head, stretching the backs of your arms. Ready? Okay. Inner thigh stretch. Another side. That's the only bad thing about rest days. Okay, high knees. Remember, elbows here. Bring your knees all the way up if you can. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, good job. Okay, I'm gonna stretch the back of our Hamstrings, you're gonna cross your right leg over your left leg. Gently reach down just as far as you can. It's also gonna stretch out your lower back here. Okay, up. Slowly. Cross your other leg. 
and reach down. Okay, slowly up. All right, jog them in place. Here we go. Make sure you're pumping your arms. The whole objective is to get blood flowing so your muscles work. That's what we want. Good job. Quad stretch one more time. Oh my gosh, I can't even get my leg up here. Okay, switch legs. Okay, get a drink of water really quick. got dry all of a sudden. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. All right, I'm gonna start with half jumps, ready? Let's do one more. Good job. Okay, toe taps, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Good job. Inner thigh stretch. Switch sides. Okay, your favorite and mine, high knees. Ready? Here we go. Okay, stretch it out, cross your ankles. out again. See if I can get my leg up here. Switch legs. If you 
you guys are not getting warmed up enough, which I can't imagine, but if you're not getting your heart rate up there for the warm up, you can do it three times or you can pick up your light set, like your three pound set or, you know, two cans of tomatoes or whatever and jog in place with those and do the high knees with those and the toe taps with those. So there's additional ways to get warmed up while we're warming up. Okay, so we are going to go right into the workout. We are going to need our five pound weight. Oh, that felt good too. Nice stretch. Okay, so holding either your kettlebell or your water bottle or whatever it is, or your purse, a purse loaded up with a whole bunch of stuff. Here we go. We're gonna put this right here and just squat and make sure you squeeze when you come up. Ready? Here we go. Make sure you're not cheating, you're only cheating yourself. Okay, done. Actually, you're kind of cheating me too. Okay. Because I am committed to being here every single day. Not just for me, but for you too. So, don't cheat me and I won't cheat you. Get a drink. Okay. Whew. Now we're gonna grab, I'm grabbing my light set. Is that three pounder? Holy cow, um, dumbbells. So what we're going to do is our oblique dumbbell pulls, okay? So this will be start, starting position sideways, one leg just a little bit in front of the other, okay? And then we're gonna reach up and that will be the movement, okay? Are you ready? Here we go, ready? Go. Catch your breath. Okay, we are going to do side lying leg lifts, okay? So I'm laying on my right side, so my right leg is bent at the knee behind me. This foot is flexed, not pointed, flexed. Okay, so we're going to bring it almost all the way down but not touching the ground. Okay, and then we're gonna go all the way up as high as we can. All right, ready? Here we go. Make sure you're controlling the movement. This isn't just flail your leg around willy-nilly, okay? legs so if you were laying on your left side you are now going to be doing your I guess left leg I was laying on my right side so I'm going to be using my right leg okay so on your knees we're gonna bring this leg up and press okay ready here we go don't fling
Last one. Oh. Okay, good job. Okay, so now lay on the opposite of the side you were laying on. So now I'm laying on my left side. Left leg is bent back behind me. Right foot is flexed. All the way up. Here we go. Ready? Good job. Okay, up onto your knees. Now we're gonna do the press with the opposite leg. Make sure you're not dipping your back down like that, okay? Keep your back flat and your abs in. Here we go. Make sure you are not like doing that and overextending. Focus on your movement and keeping your back flat, okay? Really important. Okay. All right, back on your right side. Whew. All right. You're going to bring the left leg across your right knee and you're going to raise this inner thigh. Here we go. Ready? Good job. Okay, now bend that leg back behind you again. Okay, now with your left leg, almost just like we did, but this time we're gonna bring it out. Okay, like, I don't know what kind of degree of angles that is, but it's almost lining up with your leg that's bent back behind you, okay? So this was the one we did the first time where it's in line with your arm. So now you're gonna bring it up here. Okay, ready, go. Don't fling. Foot flexed. Last one. Oh, good job. Okay, switch to your other side. Oh, holy cow. All right, right leg crossed over in front of the left knee. And we're gonna raise that left leg, okay? Here we go. That foot should be flexed. Last one. Oh, good job. Okay, so leg out, foot flexed, and then bring it up a little bit. Here we go. Make sure you're not clinging. Last one. Oh, holy cow. Good job. Oh my gosh. All right, onto your back. <laughs> I got my fancy bum out of my way. Okay. Oh, holy cow. All right, legs up as straight as you can get them. And that's about as straight as my legs go right now because I'm just not flexible enough. 
You may need to move your arms and find a comfortable spot somewhere to kind of stabilize yourself, okay? Now, very slowly, we're going to lower the legs to the right just till we think we're going to lose it. And then come back to middle and then over to the left side. Okay? Here we go. halfway there. Two more. Last one. And slowly put your legs back down. Okay. Good job. Catch your breath. Back in the upright position, get your chair or bench or stool or the edge of your couch. Get your dumbbells. I'm really thinking that the five pounds is a bad idea. I am shot. So I think I'm going to, um, no, I'm gonna do it, right? There's no point in calling this challenge if it's gonna be easy, and there's no point in expecting results if you're not gonna work for it. So I've committed myself to the five pounds now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in the standing position, okay? And then we're gonna squat. So do your squat and then your dumbbell curl, okay? Make sure you squeeze your glutes at the top. All right, guys, this is our last exercise. So hang in there with me and just do this, okay? Here we go, ready? Halfway there. Five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Okay. All done. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am sweating. Pretty wicked amount. Maybe tomorrow we should put gross. Um <laughs> towels on the list of items that you're gonna need. Okay, so grab a drink and then we're gonna cool down. job. I hope you stuck it out with me. If you did, good job. If not, come back here tomorrow and try again. I will be here. Oh. 
This is my most favorite and least favorite part of the day, the workouts. Because I know I'm doing something great for myself and it's going to get me where I want to be. But at the same time, <laughs> mentally I know how physically draining and painful it is on my body. And of course we don't want to put ourselves in pain. So overcoming that mental obstacle is huge. So if you have been here committed to me for five whole days, good for you. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's huge. It's a big deal. You should be proud of yourself. If you don't have anything else today to be thankful for or proud of yourself, be thankful and proud of that. That's something. Okay. Good job. All right. Stretch out your right arm. Oh, that still feels so good. Oh, man. All right. Left arm. Breathing in deeply. Okay, inhale in. And exhale out. Inhale in. And exhale out. Inhale in. And exhale all the way out. Good job. All right, right quad. I got it that time. Lean forward if you need more of a stretch. At this point, after the workout, you might because your muscles are completely warmed out. And like I said, now they're going to be nice and rubbery. Ugh, I feel like a ballerina in that pose. Oh, man, guys. I kicked my butt today. I don't know about yours, but I kicked my butt. We worked those inner thighs today, so make sure you stretch them out really good. Make sure you are drinking plenty of water. The more water you're drinking, the less lactic acid buildup is going to build up in your muscle fibers. And so the less muscle soreness you're going to have. Okay, down to this right ankle. Ooh, I'm getting more flexible. All right, middle. Look at that. That is awesome. Don't be bouncing like I just did. Don't do that. That's not, that's not good. It's not wise. All right. Left ankle. Do what I say, not what I do. Right? That's what my husband always tells kids. I'm like, no, this doesn't work that way, babe. Okay, and up one vertebrae at a time. I don't know why he doesn't believe me. All right. Let's do it this way. Lean that way back. Heel flat on the floor. Ooh, the wind just kicked up. Oh, okay. Switch legs. Interlace your fingers behind your back and lift up. Open your chest up. Down on the floor, soles together, hands grabbing your toes, push your legs down as far as you can, and straight up with your back, but leaning, bending at your hips. Forward as far as you can. Good job. Reach over and grab your left leg. Have you ever noticed that when I'm stretching, I stretch to the right every single time except this time? I just noticed that the other day. I thought, how weird is that? Every other stretch, I always start with the right, except that one. It really doesn't matter, just as long as they both get stretched. Okay, legs out in front. Ugh, so close. Ugh. Well, I'm still out of whack, but... I feel like I'm really close. Okay, and sit up tall and straight, trying to not bend your knees. That's a workout all in itself. Okay, oh my gosh. Good job, you guys. I will see you tomorrow for day six. Drink your water.